Holy Wire Mod here. This is going to be tutorial 19, the Expression 2 series, where we're going to be taking a look at HTTP requests. And first, I'd like to state that they are pretty costly and may take a long time to, uh, to complete. So there's actually a three second delay between each request, and that's to prevent lag because these things are so costly. So, anyway, let's start by saying if first, and then we'll say run on HTTP, and we'll set that to 1. So that's going to activate a request. The next thing you want to do is actually check, can you do a request? So we'll say HTTP can request. And that's going to give us a Boolean output of a 0, 1. If true, we will say that HTTP request is going to request from the given website. And this HTTP colon, colon slash slash is optional. You can actually start at www. And we're going to take the Omnifarious Education website right here. And then we're going to close this right here. Now, if we cannot do the request, then we're just going to quit the server and go to a better server. Just kidding. Now, we're going to print cannot request at this moment or whatever you want to put. OK, so after that, we need to say, OK, what happens when we get the request? So we're going to be using a click, just like we would a timer. And then we are going to say that on the execution of this expression2 chip caused by this command, we will then set the request URL to this right here. We're going to assign it there to request URL by saying HTTP request URL. All right. And then we're going to have data, and this data is going to be what we get from the URL that we just went to. So sometimes, actually, though, the request can time out. So to check for that, you want to say, OK, if data is blank, so there's no data, then the timeout likely happens. So we're going to say then that request timed out. All right. Now, if it did not time out, and everything is looking good, then let's just say we want to print the data. Now, note that the data is going to be a lot of information, and we're not actually going to be able to print it in one string of text. So there's an alternate solution, but for right now, I just want to show you what it looks like. So we're going to say request URL, and then we're going to say colon and data. All right, so let's take a look at what that looks like. So we're going to upload that, and after three seconds, you notice at the first moment when it did happen, it said cannot request at this moment. So um, the next part is the website, and then we got the data from the site. All right. So if you want to get around this whole limitation on the length of data, what you could do is alternatively, if you consider file functions from tutorial 10, you can say file write, and we'll give the file name. We'll just say HTTP data .text and we'll put the data in here and that will put it into your e2 shared folder if you haven't created it refer to tutorial 10 and in the description it'll show you how to do that but anyway that's going to go over the basics of the http functions uh, they're pretty useful but if you have any more questions please feel free to leave some in the comments below until then i will see you in the next tutorial